What is going on, slap dicks? This is Thick Teddy, and this is another episode of Technicals with Teddy. Before we get started, I want to say thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, if you can drop a like on this video if it helped you, subscribe to this channel, and also comment something down below that you'd like me to make a video about in the future. But this video is all about the 9 EMA, and so let's just hop right into it. And I'm making this live as the market is uh, actually transpiring in front of us. So you can see the market is moving. This is SPY, and I want to talk about the 9 EMA and how to use it. Um, it's not very effective when there's no trend. You know, if it's chopping around like it was this morning, you don't really want to uh, rely on the 9 EMA. But then once it creates its, um, its, its trend, that's when you can really start to capitalize on the 9 EMA. So, you know, this big candle created the trend for the day. And then we saw, you know, a little bit of a pullback, some consolidation. And what does it do? It bounces right off the 9. And that move would have gotten you all the way from about 370 to 70. Uh, 392.70 rather, sorry, all the way to 394.80. Uh, and then here we see it bounce off the 9 EMA yet again. You would have had another opportunity to buy on the 9 and get a small move from 394.30 all the way to 394.80. Uh, and then it breaks the 9 EMA. We start to, you know, flip the trend. Um, there was a double top here that would have been a great opportunity to buy short, but we're talking about the 9 EMA here. And then we get another opportunity here to buy short on the 9 EMA. You would have had to had to hold through, um, you know, make a little bit of a, a leash with your stop loss for it. But then you see this big flow to the downside. You would have had a great chance to get in on this candle here and ride this, you know, single candle down, make some good money. And then we have another opportunity on the 9 EMA here uh, where it topped right about 393.40 and then you could have wrote it down to 391.80. So basically what I want you guys to know is if a trend is formed, uh, you can buy on the 9 EMA as a support level because it's just a trailing uh, uh, moving average that basically um, lots of people use. It's a very common EMA to use. And so when you're buying, there's a, there's a good chance that bids are going to pop up in as well because a lot of traders, a lot of scalpers are using the 9 EMA. Uh, and you can see that it works out like this. Um, it's a great place for beginners to just get an EMA on their chart and use it as a, as a support or a resistance. Uh, so you'd go long here and then you know you'd go long again here. Go short here because it got below the 9 EMA. Uh, and then you could go short again here. So basically playing it as that support and resistance that's constantly following uh, whatever stock you're using can be really, really beneficial. And uh, honestly, just a great financial choice for your, your trading accounts. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. These are super quick, uh, super concise. They just get right to the point. So there it is, guys. Have a great rest of your week. I will see you next week. Peace.